In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the TMB frame, also known as the Frenet frame. So imagine you're standing here, and the origins here. In the past, we've always worked in terms of the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. So this imagine uh, imagine the trees are the, the origin. So you standing here would always work in terms of this tree. The idea behind the TMB frame is that you reference everything in terms of the pilot. So imagine the, the pilot or the particle moving along this path. So it's moving along this path. Let's say it's currently here. So, um, so if, if, you, um, if, 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 you, if you look at the position vector, so looking at this thing here, looking at the position vector, the position vector tells us the vector from the origin to the location of the plane or the particle as it's moving around. It tells us the vector from the origin to the plane. Now, if you differentiate it, it will give you the tangent vector. So imagine a plane moving along here like this. Currently, it's here. So currently, it's here. If you differentiate this, it will give you the tangent vector. So it will give you the tangent vector. Um, uh, if you um, if if you if you if you divide this by its magnitude, if you get this thing divided by its magnitude, this thing here will then give you your unit tangent vector. So it is your vector of length 1, because you divide it by its magnitude. So, so this thing here is your vector from here to here, your tangent vector. This thing here is your unit tangent. Now here's a weird thing. If you, um, if you differentiate the unit tangent vector, it will give you your normal vector, and it's always at 90 degrees. Um, but if you try and differentiate this thing here, if you try and differentiate this thing here, it won't give you your, 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 your normal vector. It won't be at 90 degrees. Um, we will try and understand why that's the case. Let me, just, let me just start again. Hang on. You start out with your position vector, so it's like this. It tells you the location of the plane as it moves along. If you differentiate this, it will give you, let's say the, the position vector, let, let's say the plane is currently here. If you differentiate it, it will give you your tangent vector. Um, and it's always in the direction of the motion. Um, if you um, so so this thing here will give you your 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 tangent vector divided by its magnitude. It will then give you your unit tangent, your unit tangent vector. Now, th so this is your unit tangent vector. If you differentiate the unit tangent vector, it will give you your your normal vector. But if you try and differentiate it here uh, for your if you differentiate the, the tangent vector, it won't work. It must be of length one, or it must be of length one, uh, and then it will give you your normal vector, which is this thing here. So you've got your tangent vector, this thing here, and then your normal vector, and they're at 90 degrees with each other. Um, so if, if you have two vectors, you've got your unit tangent, and then you've got your normal vector, and they're at 90 degrees. So remember, in the past, we've seen that any given two vectors, uh, any given two vectors, if you want, so, so two, two vectors will always form a plane. It will always be flat, a 2D, a 2D plane. If you want a third, if you take a cross product of this and this, it will give you a third vector. And this third vector will always be orthogonal to, the, to, the, to one vector, and it's always orthogonal to the other vector. So, um, so, so, the, so if you differentiate it, it will give you a tangent vector. Differentiate the unit tangent vector. It will then give you your your normal vector, and then and then if, if you take the cross product of the tangent and the normal, it will then give you your binomial um, vector. So so the idea behind the TMB frame is this. Hang on, um, bear with me. It will. The idea behind the uh, TMB frame is this. So so imagine a plane flying along here. So your tangent is always in the direction of the plane, and then you've got your other two vectors here like this. So, um, so, and, and they're always at 90 degrees with each other. So you can imagine it like this. Um, the tangent is always here, and the other two are here. So they're always at 90 degrees with each other. Um, if we work in terms of the TMB frame, in terms of um, in terms of this frame as opposed to x, y, and z, sometimes um, sometimes calculations become a lot easier to work with. 
when you work in terms of the pilot. In terms of the pilot, it would be easier to, to do some calculations than it is to, to, um, to reference everything in terms of this tree. Okay, so uh, uh, the, what's, in, what, what's important is for us to understand why why it is that um, when you hang on why why it is that uh, our next step is to try and understand why it is that well you start out with your position vector you differentiate it it will give you your your tangent vector and then uh, and then if you if you divide it by its magnitude it will give you it gives you your your unit tangent. Our next step is to, to try and understand why it is that um, when you differentiate this thing here, it won't give you your normal vector. But if you differentiate the unit, uh, the unit tangent of length one, then it will give you your, your normal vector. But if, if you try and differentiate this tangent here, it won't work. But if you differentiate the unit tangent, it will then give you your normal. Um, well, that's our next step. We, we've got to try and understand why why it is that when you differentiate the unit, it gives you the normal. But yet, if you try and differentiate the tangent itself, um, it won't work. Okay.